Hello guys, welcome back to my channel VFX Expert. So guys, in this today's class, we are going to see how to export camera track from Fusion to Maya. Now we are inside our Fusion here and this is our sort here. So in our previous class, I have tracked this sort inside Fusion and this is our 3D setup which just I have created from our this a camera tracker node here. So now just I am going to export camera track from Fusion to Maya. So before starting this video, please watch my previous class video. Link I have given in description. So first we have to load over this merge node into over this viewer here then select and just drag and drop here. So now we are inside fusion perspective or 3D view here. Then we have to right click here. Then go to camera and just select this camera. So now we are looking through our camera here. So in our previous class just type tracked over this sort and these are our two reference object. Then after this before exporting just we have to unplug this image plane or this footage from our this camera. Then simply we can unplug. Now deselect all these nodes here. Then we have to press Ctrl and Spacebar, and just we have to take a FBX exporter node. So just type FBX. Now just select this FBX exporter. Now click on Add. So now just we have to select our location where you want to save your FBX file. So here I have selected this camera export. Then downside just we have to give a FBX file name. Then after this in all type just we have to select FBX. Now we have to click on save. Then after this in right side you will get this FBX frame rate which is 30 FPS. So this will automatically take from your project setting. So if you want to check so click on file preferences then format. So simply you can check and this is your project name whichever this one here camera tracking here. Okay. So this is frame rate 30 FPS. So same frame rate this will automatically take from your project setting. And these are our element which just I am going to export from Fusion to Maya. So there is no any light. So just uncheck this one. Then after this we have to connect this FPX node with our this Merge 3D node. So just take output from our this Merge 3D node and just connect with this FPX. Then we have to select this FPX node and just we have to click on render and just this is your timeline range or frame range now finally we have to click on start render so now just i've exported our fbx files now after this just we have to open maya and just we have to import this fbx file inside maya so now we are inside maya then we have to click on file then click on import and just select your fbx file which just you have created from fusion so just select your folder so this is our folder inside this this file just i've generated from our fusion so just we have to select and just we have to click on import. So now if you will see here, so this is our ground plane, this is our camera which is animated and these are our two geometry which just I have created inside Fusion. So remember this one, this will not export your point clouds. This will only export your geometry and this camera here. Now just we have to click on panels, then perspective and just select this camera here. So now we are looking through this camera. Now suppose again just we have to open Fusion. So now here just I have created about only these two elements inside Fusion. So now if you want you can just create multiple reference object or test geometry. So here just I have created multiple objects here. So these are our actually reference geometry which just I have created for this uh, sort here. So just simply just we can connect direct with this merge node here. Then after this we can export all the reference object and easily just we can place any 3D model or object at this position inside Maya. So how you can create suppose if you want to create any test geometry or reference geometry. So simply just again we have to connect this footage again with this camera. So now we are looking through camera then simply you can select any point then right click then point cloud then create save. So like this just you can create multiple reference object according to your requirements here. Now just delete this one here. Then after this again just we have to unplug it from our this camera. Then again we have to select this FPX. Now we have to click on this mouse and just rename this one here. Now we have to click on save then again we have to render. Press OK. Now again we are inside Maya and just create new scene here. Now again we have to import our another file. Now click on file then import and select this version 2 now click on import so now if you will see we are getting all these reference elements or objects so easily just we can 
place any 3d model or object at this position here so that's why I just I've created our all these reference object or test geometry inside fusion now again just we have to select over this camera from over the panels here so you can see this is our camera animations here then after this we have to do some grouping here so just select all these reference geometry with this ground if you want you can separate this one here now just press ctrl g group and just give a name maybe reference object then after this we have to select this reference object group then select camera now again press ctrl g and just give a main scene group or main scene here then after this just we have to select over this camera we have to click on this attribute editor and just we have to create a image plane so go to environment and just click on create so here just type create over this image plane then in this image plane name just we have to click and just select your image sequence so this is our main sort so open this one and just select first frame here now we have to click on open then click on use sequence now just click on this wireframe here so now if you will see just i have also imported our image plane or image sequence inside maya first till here just save our project here then click on file save scene edge and just select our folder and just save Now just format just we have to select this MA now we have to click on save and press yes so guys till here I've successfully imported our fusion camera inside Maya so now after this just I'm going to import some 3d model inside Maya here so for this just we have to click on file import and just select your 3d model so inside this folder this is your 3d model so here I have selected this one then we have to click on import now after this just we have to click on these panels and just go to this perspective view here so if you will see here so here just i have imported over some barrels here so these are our 3d models here now again just we have to click on this setted mode here and just delete maybe these two here and just keep one here then after this just we can assign material on this model here then right click then assign new material so now again just use this wireframe so just easily just we can see our all these things here so now if you will see here actually this scene is very small so you can see this is our actually main scene and these are our elements here so first we have to scale up our scene here so for this what i am going to do so again just we have to select over this main scene group so remember this one here i have selected over this main scene group then go to this layer editor and just uniformly just we have to scale up our scene here so just we have to select and get maybe type 250 now if you will see here so here i have also scaled our scene so now this is looking good here then after this maybe just we have to assign some element into our the display layer here then after this again just we have to click on panel then go to perspective view and just select this camera view here so now if you will see here so here i have imported over the 3d object and just select all these maybe reference object also so just we can select here so we just select this open this one here and just select this reference object group here and just assign into over this layer here now to click on save and just hide all these elements and now if you will see here type a put over the 3d model inside my just we can click on this all sided here so yes you can see so now suppose after this if you want to place this model at your required positions here then for this just you can open all these reference geometry then just easily just we can snap any object at this positions here so now suppose if you want to paste it here so this barrel so for this what we can do so first we have to select this barrel now press w and just we have to place this anchor point at this bottom here so press d and v and just snap it here suppose here you want to place now press v and just you can snap it here now just hide all the reference object even just you can select this one and just scale down maybe this is sufficient here now just simply just we can play and check just we have to play and check so now here just type import over the 3d model and just type page into over this scene here and remaining thing scene is scaling all these things just you can adjust according to a requirement so guys till here i have completed over this class so if you like this video please watch share comment and subscribe my channel if you are still not subscribe my channel so thanks for watching